Well, you know, I have to say that as we have said, um, the in, the investigation into the events that occurred in Charleston, those those tragic and heartbreaking events, is an ongoing investigation. So I can't comment on the specifics of it. But on that issue, what I would note is that we are looking at all the facts and all the circumstances of that case to see if in fact it becomes a federal case, which are the best statutes to use. Those statutes have many names. But what I would note is that historically, uh, frankly, hate crimes are the original direct domestic terrorism. And in fact, um, hate crimes were designed and they were drafted to cover the acts of domestic terrorism that were perpetrated by hate groups such as the Klan going back to the late 1800s with the Klan Acts. So um, I certainly think that I would have to disagree that we've never called those types of actions um, terrorism per se. Um, I think that they, they are classified as hate crimes because that is the impetus behind them. But make no mistake about it, hate crimes are the original domestic terrorism. Is, is, there, a a chance to is, is there a chance to reduce hate crimes and, and other violence, maybe civil rights violations, with states like Alabama and potentially other southern states taking down emblems like Confederate flags? You know, I think that um, with respect to what states do with these Confederate flags, I think the President has made, I think, uh, an excellent suggestion that if people want to commemorate that part of their history, museums are wonderful places to do that, and those discussions are going to continue and, and hopefully will bear fruit. Um, certainly I think that the causes of hate are, are, I wish I knew what they were. I really do, because then we could focus on them. That they, they are so different from person to person. We do see certain consistent themes of thought uh, when it comes to certain groups and certain writings and certain um, creeds that they put forth. So I think education and communication is always the first, the first step towards preventing hate. I think fostering greater knowledge and understanding between people of different backgrounds is one way. Uh, and, then, and then when we see it, when people still choose to act out of those motivations and they still choose to carry out tragic events like we saw in Charleston and other places, we will deal with it effectively and thoroughly.